Uh, joining me here is Jack William Cadwell, uh, the Bucks the Vice Chairman of Bucks, uh, and he's going to just fill with a few questions about uh, the Bucks' start to the season. So, talk us through last Sunday and that incredible win against Reading. Yeah, well, so far National League has been fantastic. Uh, we uh, drew, um, oh, we won six 0 against uh, Solly Hull. Uh, the, in our first fixture week, which was great. Um, and then coming into the Reading game, Reading, uh, of course, you know, fantastic team. We're in our division last year. Um, they beat us once, we beat them once. So it was always going to be a very close game, but we weren't quite expecting, uh, you know, the sort of level of uh, rampant that we were early on, really. Um, came in, scored four goals straight from the off, which was fantastic. Second half, they closed down. They were a lot better, a lot tighter. And um, final score was 9-6, but it was, uh, it was a fantastic uh, sort of day for us and a really good victory. I was an incredible atmosphere at the game, uh, considering... Was, was you worried that when you when they got it back to... I mean, it was 7-6. Seven, 7-6, six. You, six, yeah. you worried that the game had slipped out of your hands and you'd, cost, you'd given it up, basically? Yeah, 7-6 so seven, seven, was the uh, the time when I thought the next person to score, you know, the next team are going to go on and win it. And luckily for us, we have one of the most gifted players you know, I've ever seen in Danny Downs who took it round the entire Reading team and, you know, finished you know, a great goal off. And, uh, in, ter- in terms of, you know, importance of goals, that was pretty much the most important goal, I think, you Score for a long time. It really, you know, yeah, from then on, we got that one, went on to get another, put a nice cushion between us and them. But uh, yeah, no, I was worried for a minute, but um, you know, I was glad that we managed to bring it back. I was just going on a matter of Danny Downs. There's a few other players uh, only joined the club last year, and with the Bucks, really, the first team really changing so much with uh, personnel, so many players leaving last year. Do you, think, do you see that as a good thing, as a new challenge, or yeah, I mean, lacking in experience early on? No, well, I mean, the people like uh, Danny Downs and Tom Stanton, who have played, you know, played a bit of Bucks last year, and they've really stepped up to the role, and they've been, they've been fantastic. Uh, Danny Downs has been astronomical, really. And, you know, you, you have other players coming through as well who, who have been in the club for a while. And that, you know, uh, people like uh, in the seconds now, you know, just coming through. Marius Stratman, prime example, came through last year to uh, play Bucks, played some development squad, and he's made the step up to the seconds now, which is great. Chris Nesbitt, Jack Blaze as well, from, uh, from Ting as well. So, yeah, it's a really interesting time with a lot of, you know, folks like Campbell leaving, a lot of other, you know, sort of excellent players departing. It was just going to be, you know, quite interesting, but uh, I'd actually go as far as say, I think our team this year is. Um, Stronger than last year. Fair enough. And just how much naturally, when we you play it in life sense, this what you had uh, cheerleaders, you had a crowd. Just how much of a difference does having a home crowd make? The, the, team? the reason we got the cheerleaders in was just for atmosphere, really, and uh, it, it really, really did make a difference. We had such a huge amount of noise, and I think Red at Reading were just a bit confused. Right? I mean, they they play on a huge pitch normally, and you know, quite quiet, not very good atmosphere. You know, so all these uh, sort of foot sales across the country, but. They came here, nice small pitch, and um, and had these cheerleaders obviously shouting and screaming the match, which was great. And for us, it was great to have you know sort of like a very cool uh, level of support. We had some other great, so you know obviously a lot of people from the club there as well. But no, the cheerleaders really did help. It was a uh, it was a uh, great help. So who, who's who's up next for the National League and Bucks team? And how we've are we feeling? Got, we've got um, next Sunday is our Bucks first second round um, against De Morgan uh, and. No, yeah, good morning, X. And then our seconds have got um, around the week after. Uh, we'll be playing Marjon at some point, that should be uh, quite interesting. And then National League uh, restarts in January, we've got quite a long break. But uh, our first bit of fixture back is uh, actually the sixth, which is uh, quite early. We've got a training session on the third, so everyone's going to have to shake off their New Year's hangovers and get back nice and early. Fantastic, that's uh, Jack Carroll. Many thanks for your words. Thank you.